Stage one of a medial meniscal rehabilitation program. First of all, it's important to make sure you do have a medial, medial meniscal tear. Um, there's different types of tear, like a bucket handle tear, um, and depending on what type of tear it is, the management is slightly different. The next thing, once you've, you're sure it's a tear and not a medial collateral ligament strain, um, then we can go into management. In terms of if you want to determine whether you've got a tear, there's lots of companies out there where you can get a private MRI scan done. Um, there's several around London and even local to West London. Once you have that scan done, then you can look at how you manage it. So basic things, first 72 hours, you want to ice the hell out of your knee. So you want your ice to pack to be your best friend every two hours applying ice over the area till it's numb. So if that's a painful area there, the joint line or around that area, then you want to ice that area and you can use a bag of peas, a bag of sweet corn um, and you can keep reusing it. That's absolutely fine. You don't need a particular ice pack. And then if it's easier and you don't want to hold it there, you can actually just tie um, a string or a piece of cloth around it just to keep it into the area. But you want to numb the area out. Once that's 10 minutes on, then you can take it off. And every two hours you want to repeat. So you want to get the inflammation down. You want to take ibuprofen three times a day, as long as you don't have any contraindications to stop you from taking that, like any um, gastric ulcers, a history of gastric ulcers. Next thing you want to do is compression. So you can get a compression Sleeves for the knee, you can get them off online retailers. Um, you can also alternatively just get a cotton sock, just rip the bottom and then you can pull this over over your foot and onto your knee and that can apply some compression. So you want to really compress that joint down to help get the inflammation moving out of the way. What The inflammation is what kind of causes most of the pain and restriction. So once you've got rid of that, then you can get some quicker recovery done. So you want to compress over the painful area. This is a bit difficult to do with one hand, but just to show you. So, and you want to keep this on and you can ice at the same time while this is on. Next thing you want to do is you want to mobilize the area. So this is flexion extension exercises. So this is, this is extension of the knee and it's going to get painful probably about here, um, depending on how, how bad the, the tear is. Um, and then you can bring it back and then go forward. So you want to do 100 repetitions and you want to do that several times a day. So you're looking at 1,000 repetitions per day. And then you can bring the leg in and then if it gets painful about there, you just go to the edge of pain and then back around. So that swinging motion will increase. So the more you do this, the more range of motion you're going to get in the knee. So you want to make sure that scar tissue is laying down correctly. So you you have to keep taking your leg through the range of motion that it's going to need once you're fully recovered. So once you can, you can do this while you're sitting any time of day. So once you can do that pretty well and your range of motion is increasing, um, I would recommend avoiding crutches because they tend to cause compensations in the body. So you want to, again, it's going to be painful for you to weight bear. So your foot may be in this kind of position and you may be limping, but you want to try and weight bear as much as you can so that you can regain normal kind of weight bearing through the foot. And then again, scar tissue can start laying down correctly. So first 72 hours, ice is your best friend, compression, range of motion exercises, and weight bearing a little bit at a time, depending on what you can tolerate.